you back. A uh, good break. Aye. It was only a couple of weeks I was away. You forget how beautiful this place is. There you are. I had the fortitude to deal with the caseload in your absence. Lesser men would have failed. <laughs> Tell the truth, you missed him, didn't you? How was Glasgow? They offered me a job. Hope your boss appreciates how lucky he is. Harriet! In his own special way. Deep down. How long have you got to decide? You've got a few months to work out if there's something you're worth staying for. We could be putting Tristan to better use. Yes, I suppose there's only so much harm he can do. Is he either very brave or very stupid? I believe it's a heady mixture of both. Oh, God! You hounded that boy for the last five years to pass his exams. The least you can do is reward him for it. There speaks a woman wise to the world. Wise to the lot I've been long with, with certainly. Mrs. Pumphrey. <laughs> oh, look tricky. Your favourite. They're actually for you, Mrs. Pumphrey. Oh, I only eat a fortnight myself, but Tricky's a little less fussy. You didn't used to be like this. Like what? There's no spirit. The fight's gone. I'm not saying you're past it. You just I... did. Morning, Mrs. Bronson. Diana, please. If that woman were any more forward, she'd be here yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Daffodil Ball tonight. Who's the extra one for? Time waits for no man, Jim, lad. And neither will Helen. I haven't really been out since. No one will care. Animals mess up sometimes, just like people do. There's no reason for you to keep punishing yourself for anything. What's one supposed to do? Carry on as if nothing's happened? I've missed you. 